Hello there, this is John V, Software Evangelist at Jscape. When a user uploads files via FTPS, SFTP, HTTPS, or any supported file transfer protocol to Jscape MFT server, those files don't have to be stored on the same machine as that server. Instead, you can have those files redirected to a variety of network storage options like a remote SFTP service, Amazon S3, Dropbox, and several others. In this post, we're going to show you how to store uploaded files to a remote Windows SMB share. Right now, we're here on our remote Windows host. Before we begin setting things up on Jscape MFT server, let's grab the IP address of this host first, as we're going to need it later once we start configuring our network storage object on our Jscape MFT server instance. In this example, the IP address of our remote Windows host is 172.31.4.180. We also need to obtain the name of the SMB share. And we can do that by right-clicking the target folder, selecting Properties from the Context menu, and going to the Sharing tab. Here, our SMB share name is simply SMB share. Yes, we couldn't think of a better name. Now that we have all that information, we can now head to our Jscape MFT server instance and log into the administrative web user interface. Let's navigate to a domain and go to the network storage module. So here, we're going to add a new network storage object by clicking the add button. Because what we want to add is an SMB network storage object, we just select SMB from the protocol drop-down list. Notice that you have several other options in there, and if you're interested in those, just click the links we shared in the post or in the description. For now, just click OK to proceed. You'll then be brought to the SMB network storage parameters dialog box. Start by giving this network storage a name, say NS-SMB. After that, go to the host or IP field and enter the IP address of the remote Windows host that you took note of earlier. You should also enter a login credentials of an authorized account on that remote host. Scroll down a bit and in the advanced panel, Select the remote directory option and enter the name of the SMB share in the corresponding text box. Note that the name should be preceded by a forward slash. If you want, you may test the connection by clicking the test server button. And if the test succeeds, click OK until you're back at the main screen. You should then see your newly created SMB network storage object in the network storage tab. Now that you've created your network storage object, the next step is to map it to either a user's or group's virtual path. For this example, let's just map it to a user's virtual path. And to do that, go to the Users module, select a user whose virtual path you'd like to map this network storage to, and click the Edit button. Next, go to the Paths tab and click Add to add a new virtual path. Give this virtual path a name, for example, remote SMB share. After that, click the network storage option and select the SMB network storage object you created earlier. Click OK to proceed. And then OK again to get back to the main screen. All right, it's time to try this out. Here in my setup, I have an HTTP service and an SFTP service. So let's try connecting to those. The host where my Jscape MFT server instance is running has an IP address of 172.31.12.181. So I go to my client machine, fire up a browser, and then enter that IP address into the URL box. As soon as the login screen of the web user interface loads up, I enter the domain, 
as well as the login credentials of the user account whose fertile path was mapped to the SMB network storage, and then click login. As expected, we see a folder named Remote SMB Share. That's the virtual path that was mapped to the SMB network storage. Okay, let's try uploading a file to this folder. Once the file is uploaded, it should actually be in the SMB share folder on the remote Windows host. Um, so let's try to confirm that. I'm now here on the remote Windows host. So let's navigate into the shared folder. And here, as you can see, the uploaded file is in this shared folder. The shared folder should be accessible regardless which file transfer protocol you use. So if we go back to our client machine and connect to our Jscape MFT server instance using SFTP, which if you recall is also enabled on that server, we can see the same file on the virtual path named remote SMB share. That's it. Now you know how to use Windows SMB share as network storage for your file transfer server.